My name is Gabriel Eckert. I'm the Executive Director with the Building Owners and Managers of Atlanta, and we recently went through a governance change that's dramatically impacted how we operate as an organization, and I'd like to share with you a few keys to our success. Um, in terms of how we change the governance at BOMA. The first thing we did is we really analyzed the situation that we were operating in prior to the change. And I think one of the things that executive directors uh, can do really well is kind of figuratively hold up a mirror to the organization and help members to really see what reality is. Um, I think the best way of doing that is asking questions asking deep probing questions that really get members thinking and questioning why we do what we do. So once we went through that, the next thing we tried to do was to gain consensus about what needed to change and what the future needed to look like. And I think this is where association professionals can really share a lot of the core competencies related to governance and association management. In fact, we largely based our governance change on the book The Will to Govern Well. It really helped us to have a solid theory as a foundation for the change that we wanted to make. The next thing that we did is to recognize that we can't do it alone. I think it's so important to recognize that if an association executive tries to champion a big governance change, that could backfire. And I think the same thing is true for association volunteer leaders. So what we tried to do is to work with an outside consultant. We worked with Jean Frankel with Ideas for Action and she really helped to bring in an objective outside perspective that really was a neutral voice in the process. Um, the next thing we try to do is to remember to be patient. You know, change doesn't happen overnight. I like to say that patience is easier preached than practiced, and that is certainly true in the transition that we, we went through. We worked with Gene over the period of a year with a series of meetings in our board of directors to help us all understand what governance in a strategic way really looks and feels like. And the last thing that we did that I think really contributed to the significance of our governance change is that we celebrated success. We really took moments out to recognize members and staff both for the contributions that they made to helping our governance system and helping the objectives of our organization. One final thing I'd like to say about success though is I think it's so critical for association executives in the midst of celebrating success to really draw those links between good governance practices and the resulting success of an organization. This has resulted in a lot of success for our organization. Over the past four years, we've had double and triple digit growth in a number of key areas, and we continue to implement our strategic priorities. Thank you very much.